Bell here, and today we're going to talk some shop. I went to school to become an art teacher, and while I've since shifted my career to a tangent, art education is still really important to me. So today we're going to approach our first topic and talk about what it means to give better at art. Every once in a while, I'll have someone ask me, Quell, I want to get better at art. How do I get better? How do I even start? <laughs> and, and suddenly I find my school teacher voice again, and I say, well, what do you want to get better with? And of course, the response is often followed by a bunch of question marks, strange face emojis, and reaction images. The answer is, getting better is too broad of a goal. That's like saying you want to get better at music, but there's a whole language, a whole orchestra full of instruments to learn. So you have to approach getting better with short-term daily goals. And you have to be specific about what you want to practice and get better at. A realistic daily goal would be, I want to practice drawing hands, or I want to doodle some headshots. The getting better part comes in how often you practice and to actually pull up references and learn from as you're doing it. I want to take this moment to also reiterate that getting better doesn't necessarily equate to making my drawing more accurate to real life either. Take Jackson Pollock, for example, who is one of the most well-known abstract expressionist painters. This dude's paintings were splats on a canvas, smears, what have you, and had like zero representational anything. But that was okay, because he focused his getting better on other things such as color theory and the process. His work was all about the process and it made him a great artist. So you have to be specific in the direction of your goals. Are you wanting to get better to be a fantasy illustrator one day? Or are you wanting to get better at interior design? Both require learning shared and different principles and fundamentals. Better can mean many things and you can't get better at everything at once. You have to be able to read music before you can play it you need to master fundamentals before achieving more accurate drawing, baby steps. You also need to be patient about your getting better goals. I'm skilled the way I am because I've sunk thousands of hours over 20 some years into doing what I do. It didn't just happen overnight. It's an obsession for me, but it might not be for other people and that's okay. So you need to be realistic about your expectations of yourself. You'll be better in a year from now, I guarantee it. And two years from now, and 10 years from now, and 30 years from now. You can see differences within every piece you make, even the farty little doodles you think about balling up and throwing away. You have to give yourself time to grow and give yourself credit for the things that every doodle counts, even if it wasn't your fave. Too often I watch learning artists get in the trap of comparing themselves unrealistically to really skilled ones. And yeah, it's frustrating to have a vision and be unable to execute it exactly the way it is in your mind. Everyone, even triple A master illustrators struggle with this. So you're not alone. This is why references are so important. Learning fundamentals is so, so important. And not comparing your work unrealistically is also very, very important to staying motivated. We're so accustomed to assessment and tests to check our progress that we forget a sense of time commitment that arts and humanities demand for growth. So be patient, set little goals, start today and set yourself your daily goal. Make sure it's small and achievable and you'll be well on your way to getting better at art.